back with another video. Krishan gets blasted left and right. Let's get into it. Before we get into it, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of my videos. And go ahead and share it if you like. So y'all remember that whole little thing where Kashawn was sitting there eating. Like, she's supposed to be promoting these people's stuff. She's supposed to be texting the food. Of course, they're going to give the food for free as long as she's promoting it type thing. So she's in there, and she's eating. She's, like, literally eating the rice out the pan. Like, girl, come on. Why are you eating the rice out the pan? Why are you doing that? Like, it's some ghetto type stuff. You want the mac and cheese? Oh, it's great. Um, y'all saw me in the last video. I was tearing it up. <laughs> but um it's great. It's great. It's good. It's good. You fucking that shit up. What you think? What do you think I think? And she come back and say, "Oh, it was a skit. It was a skit that we was doing." I was supposed to act like the food was good. It was good though, but I was supposed to act like I, you know, I was really liking the food and I was like, no. No, you really ate out that pan. You was really being childish and ghetto with that. I got to say that. You was being childish and ghetto. So I keep seeing all this shit circling. So like, I want to respond to a couple things. All right, y'all see this viral ass video? I bet I lost my voice. Y'all see that viral ass video when, um, It's a viral ass video of um, me eating off the tray. First of all, it's a skit. Me acting like the food is really good. It, it, it really was good, but you know, you see how fast that video went around? Me eating in that tray like that. That was the point, to eat it like that. Um, I was supposed to get my food for free. I end up tipping the guy um, anyways. Um, I was always probably paid him for food because he catered for the event, but I'm not sure if he got paid already or if he, I don't know. Long story short, I was showing mad love. So next thing you know, the guy, he goes, he says something. Sometimes she need to be called out. She definitely need to be called out. And he's like, no, that was not no skit. He's like, big ups to her, like, because it was a good look, her eating our food, her liking our food. So that was a big, you know, ups for us. And thank you for that type thing. He like, you know. Tell him thank you for that. But then he says, no, it was not no skit. It was not a skit. Like, she really did this and she really was ghetto. First off, I want to say thank you to Kashawn for coming out there to support. You know, that was much love. I ain't take that lightly. That was very big for me. You know, I just wanted to clear the air. There's a lot of back and forth shit on the internet. And I just wanted to say, you know, it wasn't no skit. So the shit that she did with the spoon, I ain't really approve of it, you know. But the rice was almost done, so I ain't really care. I do get a lot of crazy reactions from my clients, you know. Um, so it's nothing new. So that's why I wasn't so surprised. But at the end of the day, it still wasn't acceptable. You showed much love. I appreciate you for coming. It was a good time. So what y'all think about that? Like, that's ghetto. Like, that doing stuff because you feel like you can do it. Don't do that. I know the guy said that the pan was almost empty. So he really ain't say too much. But come on, don't do that type of stuff. That was just plain out ghetto. And then she gets called out by promoters and different people. Remember when she had that show and she was like, they just cut my show? No, they didn't just cut her show. Like stuff is starting to come out about Krishan. And she's acting like she's just so innocent. She ain't doing, you know, I ain't doing nothing. No, I can do this so I can do what I want to do type thing. No, they cut her show because she was only supposed to do one song. She was supposed to do a certain amount. Her time was up. And they had other people that were supposed to be coming on to the show. So I'm looking at the pay-per-view, see my face going that way. But um, 
she was supposed to have a certain amount of time and they said that Gucci man was supposed to come on. So she was holding up Gucci man. Come on. You you ain't up there with Gucci man at. Like let, let him get his turn. So Gucci man and some other people supposed to come on there. And so they start talking junk saying this chick was not supposed to be doing all this. She was supposed to get off stage. She was supposed to have a certain amount of time. So of course they turned off her set because her time was up. They ain't just turn it off on her like, oh, we just push off the stage. No. Gucci Man supposed to came up next. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put up, I'm gonna put up some of the stuff that they were saying. So they say, why they cut her set off like that? She still vibes out though. That's because you wouldn't get off the stage and let Gucci Man perform. And they were booing you. Y'all was an unorganized mess. Krishan really wasn't trying to leave the stage to let Gucci perform. She's so weird. Krishan won't get off the stage. They turned the lights out. So apparently, Gucci was supposed to be performing and her butt would not get off the stage. We was all like, oh, wow, what happened? What happened? Why they do that? Come on, Krishan. You got to do better. So... Then the DJ said, your people gave me one song at Krishan. So apparently they only gave one song, so that's why she's supposed to perform one song. Myself and at a J Showtime had your other songs on deck just in case. So they had some of our songs just in case. Be more prepared if you really take this serious. Have a show track of all your songs you want to perform. Which usually that's what people do. Have all their songs or they already talked to them ahead of time. Here's my songs. Here's my list. You have it. If they don't have it, you get it to them. Don't think the DJ has a song you made just yesterday. Which is true because she was trying to perform stuff she just made. They're not going to have that. You got to have that. You got to get that to them. Even if, you know, it's kind of a little bit last minute. Like, okay, well, this is my other songs that I'm going to do. And if they allow you to do it, they allow you to do it. But if they don't allow you to do it, you didn't get them time to allow you to do it. So they don't know you're going to do that song. So then guess what? And you don't get to do it. Also, we did not cut your mic. The sound man did because you took too long on stage. Be professional. Yeah, these people can't read your mind. They set a show based on songs you're supposed to do. You gave them, well, your people. So you need to talk to your people because apparently you were supposed to do more songs. At least that's what you thought. Your people gave them one song. So that's what they had. But like he said, they had other songs on deck, but they only know certain songs that they have on deck. They can't just sit here and just, oh, I got a song that she just made the other day. No, you got to get that stuff to them. And usually that's what your people do for you. They talk to you about what you want to do, what you want to perform. They get the music to the DJ. If you ain't got your own DJ. Sometimes you have your own DJ and then you ain't got to worry about it because they know what you're going to do. Now you use another DJ or you come in somewhere to perform, they ain't going to know what songs you really trying to perform, but that one song that the, your people gave them. Now he said he had other songs on deck for just in case. But how he supposed to know something about a new song? No. That's your and your people's responsibility. If you got a whole team, they need to get it together. Like he said, be more professional. They weren't trying to push you out or nothing like that. That was on y'all. That was not their fault. Like he said, the sound man turned it off because it was time for you to get off stage. You stayed longer than you were supposed to. Gucci man got to get on that on that stage now. Some people were cheering for you, but some people was booing you off because it was like, okay, they turned your set off. It's time for you to go. Like, it's a lot of stuff that's really coming out now. A lot of stuff that's coming out. So, Kashawn, like, really getting blasted at this point. Like, it's not a good look. People getting tired of some of the stuff she's doing. She's been getting away with too much, too long. They tired of it at this point. They're like, okay, you think you're the big dog. You can just do what you want to do, how you want to do. They're eating out that pan. That was just disgusting. I don't care if it was just a little bit. They had other food around that food. I don't care if that pan only still had a little bit of rice in it. You feel like I'm going to eat out the pan. That's something you do at your house. That's your house and you eat out your pan. You don't do that out here at somebody's event or whatever they got going on. I don't care if it's a little bit in the pan. You got other food that's around and you eating off the spoon. The spoon that they dip the stuff with. Like it's, it's, it's ghetto at this point. And now they calling you out about to show everybody where about, oh, why they turn your mic off? Chick, if you ain't know nothing about it, you need to talk to your team because apparently they only gave them one song. And like he said, he had other songs on deck for just in case. Because I remember her saying something about they ain't do the right song or something like that. They only had the song that your people gave them. And then they had other songs on deck. They don't know nothing about your new songs. So now all this is coming together. One plus one is two. Now one plus one is whatever Krishan wanted to be. No, you, you don't make that up. Uh, it's all coming out now. It's making me feel some type of way like, chick, get your stuff together because that ain't it.
it ain't it, honey. I'm sorry. Anyway, what y'all think about that her eating straight out the pan like that? That's ghetto and just nasty. Her saying, oh, they cut my set and your people only gave them one song. And it was Gucci Man's time to get on the stage. You have a certain amount of time and everybody know that too. Sometimes people run over a little bit, but that's Gucci Man. You ain't even on his level, so they're going to shut your junk down. Anyway. Y'all comment down below, like the video, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to Banger Play Games, subscribe to Trish World. Make sure you check me out on social media, check out my shop, check out my IGT page, shop with your girl. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, be blessed.